maybe we think there's going to be a step up. So let's say that wages are the same. And then like in June, let's say we're planning a pay raise. So June, let's go, let's go to June and say, we're going to increase it here by uh, 1.1. It's going to go up by 10%. And uh, so this is going to be times 1.1 times 1.1. Okay, let's undo this whole thing. I don't know what is happening. Let's gonna go into this again. This is gonna be equal to the prior one times 100% plus 10%, 1.1, going up by 10% in June, enter. Okay, so that's a step up. So notice I'm not gonna continue it going up 10%. Now I'm gonna say it stayed the same up until here and then it's gonna go up by the 10% uh, going into after that point. Let's actually do it in July. I think I, I wanna do it in July. So now I'm gonna mess it up again. So I'm gonna say, let's, let's delete it here and then I'm gonna do it in July. So I'm gonna go in here times 1.1. And so I'm also gonna do the wages. So I'm gonna go into the wages here and say this is gonna be that times 1.1. So now the wages are up to 7682. Uh, now we have a similar relationship notice between the taxes and the wages that we had because these are payroll taxes as we did when we when we looked at like the cost of goods sold and the sales meaning as wages go up you would expect the payroll taxes to go up in some similar proportion. So in other words if so if I look at the relationship between these two 486 divided by the 6983 is 6.9%. So I could have done this, the other way I could have done this is say, I believe that 6.9% should stay basically constant. And I could put this equal to this times 6.9%, right? Or I can just have it increased by the same amount as we did here. So I, now I have the 535 divided by the 7682 and it's still 6.9%. So we still have that relationship the point being, as we in increase wages, you would expect you would expect payroll taxes, which is our portion of the taxes, not the employee portion, uh, their taxes will go up too, but that's not our expense, that's their expense. Uh, these are our portion of Social Security, Medicare, and FUTA uh, that will go up. Okay, so that's that. All right, so let's keep going. Supplies, I'm going to imagine that's the same. You, you would think that if the revenue goes up, then supplies might go up, but it also might be in material depending on the industry you're in. So I'm going to say it's either the same or possibly in material, not uh, really relevant to decision making possibly. Telephone, again, I'm going to say that's somewhat the same. Maybe the telephone goes up when, when revenue goes up, but usually telephone will go up in this staggered kind of way like we had here, right? Because that we might have to get a higher plan at some point, in which case you're gonna have a step up in costs. Similarly with utilities, you would think it would be much the same unless we needed you know, to level up a whole nother shop or something where the utility bills would go up, in which case it would go up in a step up. The gain on sale of investment, because these were actually a one-time thing, we had short-term investments that we sold, I don't expect this to repeat at all. So I'm actually gonna delete this whole thing and remove that one. And then we have depreciation. Depreciation is something that you could get directly from the depreciation schedules, and it might not be uniform uh, if you're using something like an accelerated depreciation method. But if you're using a straight line method, you would expect it to be somewhat uniform. So you could make that kind of more exact at this point in time. Uh, it would be significantly different or change if you plan on buying more equipment. So note that if you're doing a full a more expansive uh, budgeting process, then you would also have a, a cash flow budget uh, that would include pot, include equipment purchasing budgets, right? Which could help you to then calculate your depreciation. Depreciation being something that would be on an accrual basis, and you'd also maybe have a, a cash flow budget, which doesn't include depreciation because cash is not impacted with uh, uh, depreciation but we're gonna keep it the same here going forward. So we'll just let it roll. And then the interest expense. 
interest is something on the loans. So you, you could think, well, if I've already financed the business and I'm not taking on any new loans, then the interest expense would be somewhat standard, but you can actually get the exact interest expense from the amortization tables, right? Because it should go down each month according to the amortization tables. Uh, we're just going to estimate it here. Let's tr let's try to do another method. We might say the interest I think is going to go down. Let's just imagine it goes down by a constant rate. So I'm going to take the prior period times 95%. So I'm going to say prior the prior amount times 0.95. Same concept, but this time it's going to go down each time instead of increasing, right? So we'll do something like that uh, with the interest and then... So let's go ahead. So we did that one. I'm not going to do anything for the rest. So that's going to be basically it. So let's close this. We're going to say, hey, hey, hold on a second. So, so that's going to be basically it. Okay, so now let's just kind of clean it up. So I'm going to select this whole bit right here. Let's put brackets around it. I'm going to go home tab, font group, and we'll put brackets around it. We could put brackets around this side as well brackets i'm going to ungreenify it and there we have it let's put an underline here home tab font group underline let's put an underline here home tab font group underline okay so at the end of next year we're looking 125 126 000 almost on the net income that's what i'm talking about that's what as long as that advertising goes the way it's planned and who who would doubt who would doubt the genius of this lady that we hired after her skills in the entertainment in Hollywood and and then and then with the with the beverage with the, <laughs> the beverage people anyways i don't know we're just the accountant just just shut up and put the numbers in like they told you to put the numbers in there okay okay we're going to make 120 revenue's going to soar people it's going to soar According to the data input we got. Okay, so that's gonna be the that's gonna be it. So in future presentations, we're gonna take this stuff, put it back into QuickBooks, so that we can then uh, generate our budgets uh, in QuickBooks, allowing us to do comparisons between actual and budget.